Are you looking for neutral patriotic decor? Well, if you are, you found the perfect video because today I'm sharing nine really easy DIYs that feature patriotic decor but with a neutral palette. If you're new here on this channel, I love to share DIYs and budget home decor. And if you enjoy that too, please be sure and click subscribe. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is Our Gray House. I bought a pack of felt adhesive back stars from Hobby Lobby and I'm going to show you how to make the easiest paper bag garland ever. This DIY is so crazy easy and it's very budget friendly and y'all are going to love it. So around this time of year you can find stars just about everywhere but they're usually the sparkly glittery kind and y'all know I'm not about that glitter life. So I thought about painting the stars on and I do have wood ones that I could have used but I felt that these felt ones had adhesive on the back and they were the easiest to use. So I'm using these small brown bags that I got from Hobby Lobby because I'm putting this up in my kitchen and the big ones are the regular size ones. It just wouldn't look right. They were, they'd be too big. So if I was doing this on my mantle though, then yeah, maybe I'd use the bigger ones, but here I'm just trying to see if I'm going to use the bigger stars or a combination. And there were only three big white stars in the pack, so it kind of limits me, but honestly, I was only using three bags anyway, so I guess it all worked out fine in the end. I know I want to add some beads, but I kind of thought to do like some pom-poms or maybe like some tassels or something like that, but then I went back to my idea of adding beads. Now you can find beads at Dollar Tree, but I got mine on Amazon, and if you need any, I have a link below to the ones I use, but anyways. I'm just leaving my natural, but these would also look super cute painted red or, or blue or red and blue. So for the paper bags, you just need to find the middle. And I put a small little mark about a little over halfway down the bag. And then I draw a line from the middle to the edge. And on the edge where the line ended, I lined it up with my ruler. So I'd know the stopping point on the other side. And then I draw the second line and it was not too, I don't know how to, um, I didn't want it too pointy or too severe. So what I'm doing is kind of creating a dovetail and then you just cut the back and then I use that back as a template for the other two. Now I'm just peeling off the backing and attaching the stars to the center of each paper bag. And I string all the beads on in the order that I want them and I use a piece of masking tape to create a pointy end to make it easier to thread the beads on. Now y'all watch how easy this is. You just turn the bag over and you put the flap over the twine. You add some scotch tape or you could use whatever tape or even glue if you wanted to. But the cool part about it is that's it. <laughs> so since the beads were already on the twine, I just moved the beads where I wanted them and then I flipped over the next bag and I repeated the process. This is really so super easy. This turned out super cute and I love how simple it was and just looks cute. Anyway, today's video is part of my fourth Friday playlist that I host each month with my dear friend, Sarah from GGB DIY. And it's an extra fun playlist because we have Corey from Crafted by Corey as our guest host. I was so happy that she joined us today. Anyway, her channel, as well as the playlist that has all of our amazing crafter friends will be linked in the description box below. Now here's a craft DIY hack for you. If you're trying to measure something and the center is not easily found, you can move your ruler up to the next even number. And yes, it'll be crooked looking, but then you can divide that even number in half and that's your center. So like if you had five and I don't know, seven eighths or whatever, move it up to skip six, scooch it up to six, and then divide that by two, that's three, that's your center point. And it's much easier doing that than trying to do math. So I'm taking a Dollar Tree bamboo cutting board and I'm measuring it and putting some lines so that I can use my jigsaw to cut it in the shape of a house. This video is all about neutral patriotic decor. So I'm taking some Waverly wax in the color antique and staining the house shape. I paint it on and then I take a damp rag to wipe it off and it doesn't drastically change the color, but it does darken it just a bit. And I put some painter's tape on here to create some vertical lines. Now, 
before you even say it, the center line is supposed to be off center. I was really wanting to make it more of a pronounced off center thing, but it just kind of looks like I don't know where to put the painter's tape. So anyway, after I get the tape down on the board, I'm taking some Waverly chalk paint in the colored plaster and I'm painting the board. Then it's time to remove the tape and reveal those nice crisp lines. And I remove the tape when it's still kind of wet. As you can see, I've wrapped some jute twine around the top of the house. I'm painting a wooden star, and I can't remember where I got this one from, but I painted with Waverly wax, uh, Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. And I'm doing my little hack of putting some tape down and then putting the star on the tape so that it kind of stays stationary. Anyway, um, I'm taking some of Jim Holtz distressing ink and distressing all around the star to give it some character. And then I hot glue that onto the twine. And I love how this turned out. You could totally add some red and blue paint to make it a more traditional patriotic piece, but I love the rustic feel of this one. Birthday break! Today is my birthday, and if you would, I would love it if you would click the like button, if you'd share my video, and if you'd leave me a comment, that'd be awesome. Yeah, okay, back to the DIYs. Now I had some picture frames from Dollar Tree and I used them for a window frame piece that I created. That project turned out super cute, but I had all the frame backings left over and y'all know it's hard for me to throw away things like that because I think I could use it for something someday. Well today is that someday. So I'm using Waverly Wax in the color Antique to stain them. And again, I'm just painting it on and wiping off the excess with a damp cloth. And I do that to both pieces. And as you can see, I'm staining all of these pieces at the same time. It helps me cut down on the mess and hassle taking stuff out, and putting it away, you know, multiple times. Anyway, I have these balsa wood pieces that I cut to the size of the frame and I'm staining them all over with Waverly Wax in the color Antique. I made these two decals with my Cricut and I'm just putting the transfer tape on and then transferring it onto the backings that I stained. And y'all know that I just eyeball stuff, but I really love the contrast of the brown and the white. I think these turned out super cute. And now I'm just hot gluing the frame pieces to the sign. And this is how they turned out. I really love how it pops. They were so cute and so easy to make. Sarah from GGB DIY and I also have a crafting group on Facebook called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. We have lots of friends in there sharing their cool projects and we'd love it if you join too. The link is going to be below. Okay, y'all know the drill by now. This is a Dollar Tree canvas. I removed the canvas and I'm going to use the frame for this DIY. To keep the neutral theme consistent, I'm staining this with Waverly Wax in the color Antique, painting it on and wiping it off. These two wood planks are from the Dollar Tree and I'm staining them as well. And yes, there are two of them. You just can't see the other one. Oh, well, you can see it. Anyway, I guess I didn't show you, but I hot glued the two planks on and I cut out a decal that spells love and the O is the United States, or I guess it's the shape of the United States. And I put the decal just a tad lower because I'm going to be adding something to the top. Now, for whatever reason, this twine is kind of hairy, so I use a lighter to burn off the excess hair stuff. And now, of course, this is something that you should do with an adult round. Safety first, folks. I then use my super cute little ladybug vacuum to clean up the area. I just love that thing. I've got it linked below if you want to get one for yourself. It works really well and helps keep my work area clean. Now, if you were going to guess what I was going to add, that I was going to add twine, ding, 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 you're right. I just wrapped it around several times and made a shoelace bow, shoelace bow for the corner. And as you can see, I painted a smaller star with the Waverly chalk paint and the color plaster, and I'm going to glue that to the top of the bow, and then I'll trim the ends of the bow. And this turned out super cute too. I know I keep saying that, but I really love how all these DIYs are turning out. So for this DIY, take two Dollar Tree cubes and stain them with Waverly Wax in the color Antique. 
For one of the cubes, I take a wooden star shape and trace it onto the cube. And for the other one, I am taking thin washi tape and spacing it out on the cube to create stripes. And I'm painting the stripes with Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. And I'm painting on the star with the same color. I could have just painted and glued the star on, but I didn't think of that <laughs> actually until I was just editing this video. So anyway, this is how the DIY turned out. The, they are so cute and I think these would look great on a tear tray. They're super easy to make. DIY number seven starts out with this little palette sign from the Dollar Tree that I am staining with Waverly Wax in the color antique. I've taped off the top left corner so that I don't get paint in that area and I'm painting two of the slats with Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster. I've peeled off the paint and now I'm just adding dots to that corner to represent stars. And to make the dots, I'm just dipping the end of the handle of my paintbrush in paint and then dotting it on. And this is how it turned out, cute and simple. For this one, you'll need two gift tag shaped pieces from the Dollar Tree. This was actually a set and the lady tried to charge me for each one separately and I was like, no, these are tied together. So anyway. Um, one side is a chalkboard and we're actually using the back, so I'll remove the sticker and I'm staining mine with Waverly Wax in the color Antique. And once it's dry, I'm taking a wooden star shape and tracing on several stars onto one of the tags. And I'm going to paint in the stars using the same Waverly chalk paint in the color plaster that I've been using for this entire video. And I'm trying to be careful not to get Captain's tail in the paint. While that dries, I'm going to tape off some stripes on the other tag and paint it with the plaster paint and then remove the tape. And the last part is just to hot glue these two tags together. And I really love how this project turned out. It would also look really nice painted in traditional colors. Last but certainly not least, we have DIY number nine. And I already stained this crate with Waverly Wax in the color antique. And I also cut out a decal using my Cricut and I'm just transferring that on. And to finish this off, I'm using some washi tape to mark off some stripes and then painting it with the plaster paint. I love neutrals in my home, but you could absolutely do this project in, or any of the projects in today's video using the traditional red, white, and blue. In fact, I have another video coming really soon where I use more traditional colors. So I really love how this piece turned out. So. Um, it's just, it's simple. It's cute. I love it. So tell me in the comments below, which one is your favorite though? Thank y'all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate the company. Mm. Also, don't forget there's links in the description box below that share the playlist that share, um, you know, links to my Etsy shop, links to my Instagram, all that kind of fun stuff. And if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's our gray house, but just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye.